Hello all, welcome to the Linux rootkits for Red Blue Teams course on Pentester Academy. Now in this video, we are going to create our lab setup. Now we are going to be using a 64-bit system and for the OS, we are going to be using Ubuntu and the latest one which is 18.04 LTS as of uh, you know this video creation time. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to go ahead and use VirtualBox. Of course, you can use VMware if you like. Uh, I've already downloaded the 17.04 LTS from their website. So that is something you can do as well. Now let's create a new VM. Let's create Ubuntu. Kit demo. Uh, I'm actually going to give it around eight gigs of RAM. Let's go ahead use all the default options here. Uh, the hard disk space I'd like to give around forty gigs. Okay, cool. So I think the basic VM settings have been created. If you notice our network is automatically set to NAT, which will allow us to connect to the internet when required. Now I'm going to click on storage. Go down to the MTID controller and select my Ubuntu 18.04 desktop. I'm sorry, I probably said 17. I'm using 18.04 LTS. So click on that, click OK. Let's run this to start the installation. So this is going to be a standard Ubuntu uh, installation. And just want to go through it so that you know we are on the same page a lot of times you might follow a course and then see some things aren't working so just want to make sure you know that this was an absolute baseline Ubuntu system uh, which I've installed so that any packages we install from over here is covered in a future video So let's give it a couple of seconds. I'd like to install Ubuntu. I'm going to go with all the default options. Of course, keyboard layout is correct, English US. continue with all the default settings so let's actually give an easy name uh, of course Vivek and call this computer rootkit <laughs> an app name so Vivek and the password password is let's actually select something I know I generally remember uh, Let's click on log on automatically. Again, this is just going to be a little test machine. Uh, I'm not going to bother too much about trying to make this secure. So let's wait for the installation to complete. I'm going to pause the video briefly while the installation goes through. Okay, so the installation is completed. Let's click on restart now. Now, even if you don't have too much RAM, my recommendation is at least for the installation, give it as much as you can. It'll actually end up saving you a lot of uh, time. 
so let's wait for the restart and you should be able to do these exercises on any other Linux flavor as well right uh, as you shall see in the next video we are going to be using one of the latest kernels available so uh, pretty much should work on most other devices great so let's actually finish the remaining installation so let's click next next do not send info generally like to remove everything else okay it's it's just me but i like to remove everything else okay. firefox is okay file manager is okay Just want my terminal. Let's add this to favorites. Don't know why when I do that it adds two of them. Okay, here we go. So now, before you panic, I am going to change the font size to <laughs> something which is a little bit larger. I know that feeling when you start watching a video and realize that. Uh, the guy shooting the video forgot to change the font size. Okay. I'm probably also going to change. I don't know what this is good. So when I print out stuff, you know, I like to do a uh, reverse one where we actually do black and white, white background, black font. But I think when shooting a video, this should be fine. You should be able to view it just okay. So let's actually do an app update. Hopefully I remember my password. And let's install open VM tools desktop. So these are a couple of tools uh, which basically allow us to go ahead and uh, do stuff like copy paste into the system and whatnot, right, from the host system. We're going to issue a reboot. Now you can even install VirtualBox extensions. I just like doing the open VM tools desktop. This should be a fun course. Personally, really excited. Okay, cool. So we have installed the latest version of Ubuntu inside of VM. We see this uses a 4.15.0.20 generic uh, kernel. What I'm actually going to do is install a kernel which is even more newer uh, in the next video. Okay, so this is all I have in mind for this video. Thank you and see you in the next one.